So next, let's create, uh, let me just tick off some of these. So we have our footprint chart complete. We have our tick charts complete. Let me see. Let's go about sticking on some of our studies. So hmm, next study to put on will be, let me see. Um, um, we could go with, I suppose the one we will be getting into and we use regularly is a VWAP. So let's create a VWAP study. So we'll just add, <coughs> we'll just add a VWAP study to our Tentic. And uh, where do we want to go? We want to go to F6, studies, we want to go V for VWAP, V for VWAP. We just find it in the drop down, volume weighted average price, we add it to our list. Before we add it to our 10 tick chart, we'll just go in here and we'll go to our settings. So, excuse me, <coughs> for our VWAP, we have everything set up here. We don't need to change anything in here. This is for our Globex VWAP. We will get into um, creating our New York session only VWAP in a second. But a couple of things to change in here as you wish. Uh, I like to turn off the top and bottom band. They're not relevant to anything particular. I don't like them myself, so just ignore. And we just go ignore two of those guys. So. A uh, dash, I prefer to have a straight line or a running line. Where are we? Line, set to line. We set it to two. I like to set the name label and a value label. For the name label, sorry, for the name label, um, I like to leave the color pink as default. Why not? I just call this guy Globex. Uh, this is basically the all VWAP or the Globex VWAP. X Globex, <laughs> VX. Globex. Or the um, the overnight session VWAP basically included. <clears throat> so simply to do that, we just hit apply, and we have our Globex VWAP done and dusted there. Nothing too exciting. So we can this we can do that for every chart as we wish. We can do okay. Just close that guy. Now we can either um, we can either just do that for every chart. Um, what I'm going to do for this, I'm just going to create all our charts, um, all our studies on one particular chart, and then we'll be going into a little bit later of adding them over if we wish, if we want to do them all from one and have them all on another. And we'll also, there's a, a little few things with Sierra that we will need to do, i.e. we have to create some of our studies on time-based charts because when they're on these range bars, they don't populate. Uh, data wise correctly and we'll show you I'll show you exactly how we um, we cross-reference all those over into each chart But any studies that we want on all our charts We want to just add them over and over again to each chart um, I won't do that now, but that's all we will do. We'll, we'll get into it a little bit later So first we're going to continue with creating the VWAP. So the next VWAP we want to create we want to create a um, a chart again specific only for the New York session. So I'm just going to duplicate this 10 tick chart and I'm going to um, create it with a New York only view app. So just to bring this chart up again, we're going to go to our F5. F5 and in here we want to remove the tick from the evening session. So we remove the tick from the evening session. That way, we will only get the VWAP to populate for the New York session. And we can turn off the candlesticks if we wish. We can leave it blank. And we can go to our advanced settings. And I'm just going to put in here um, NY VWAP. And I'm just going to put in do not DND. So this is the source chart now for the New York VWAP. We won't be using this chart for anything else. That's why I, I put it into into um, invisible or blank um, we don't need it just to make sure that your evening session is unclicked we hit apply we hit okay we hit okay 
and now we have and we just take off so we go back into our studies we go to f6 we can go to our settings in here <clears throat> and we can change this now to new york only view app so we can change it into whichever color we wish i like to have a nice blue one or a nice black one or just something different so we'll go with blue for this particular case this could be the new york session view app i could uh, set my value areas in blue as well so we'll get into it a little bit later uh, we like to set our name label our value label we've left off our top and bottom band ignore we just change this to new york or ny whichever you suit your uh, whichever suits your preference settings and input uh start date ignore time there's nothing in here i don't think uh, let me just double check Input data, last total volume, uh, based on underlying data, no uh, time period, type days, time period length, one start time is going to be set to our chart. Ignore time period um, for our view app. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to change. I didn't have to change the, the let me just double check. I don't think I had to change <clears throat> the, um, the details in it. Uh, where are we? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Actually, I won't. I won't even bother changing this. We uh, Let me just double check. I don't know. I'll double check just to be sure. Make sure. Okay. No. Once, once we, once we set our. Yeah. Once we set our time, in the F5 function, we don't need to adjust this. So we just apply. We hit OK. We hit apply, and we hit OK. We should have New York. So. This is now our New York, um, our New York session BWAP. This will only populate for the New York session. Now we simply uh, minimize this chart. And leave it alone. So we actually will tuck it over here, down at the bottom, tuck it over in the corner with its underline. New York VWAP. So to add the New York VWAP study to this chart, the next step is to actually just use this um, use this data. So we just go back and we go to F6 again to add a new study. And all this is is going to be O for overlay. And just to double check, overlay, ba -ba -ba -ba. overlay, study price overlay. Sorry, study price overlay. So S study price overlay. In here, do 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 study study price overlay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Study price overlay. So we just add this to our chart, and we then make this our New York view app. So to do that, we go to our settings. In here, we have our study to overlay. So actually, we need to change this, and I forgot to reference it. So just to bring this back up again. Oh, cancel for a second. Apply, okay, so I forgot to go in here. I will change all that in a second. So one thing we need to note from this chart, as previously mentioned, we have to find the number of this chart, which is chart number four in this case. So we have to remember that. We delete that. Minimize this chart again. Wait. Let's minimize this guy. Don't need it again. So back to here. F6. Um, we have our study price overlay. We want to go in here to settings. We, as you see, it's populated at the bottom of the chart. We want to just make sure that this is set to chart region one, and we want to put this as inherited. Once we've done that, we come over and we look for our chart number four, as previously mentioned in here, and we want to get our VWAP study. So match source bars to destination bars. Yes. Data copy mode. Use latest value. Yes. Uh, bar time matching method, yes. Copy source data uh, uh, to latest corresponding. I like to set this to yes. Fill blanks with last value multiplier one, draw zeros, fully synchronize the source chart, the, the, the synchronization of source chart to destination. Yes, this, this is just copies over all your. Um, Copies over all your information and stuff like that. Name related, blah, blah, blah. Use color from study. Yes, yes, yes. Always use short names and shorts. Uh, names for source study. Uh, yes, why not? And then that's it. We simply go apply. And OK. Apply. And OK. Aha. We haven't set it up correctly because it's populating as the Globex. 
So back to back to our New York pro uh, sorry our New York view app. All right, it's got to be got to be this guy. What the hell is going on here? Ah, why is that not saving? Uncheck, uncheck, apply, apply, apply. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. now, now, okay, right. <laughs> this should work. It better work. Minimize, ba boom, okay, <laughs> right, finally. Talk about why that kept unchecking or not checking. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I wasn't hitting apply function. So now we have our New York view app. This view app will flatline outside of the New York session, or it will basically show where the New York session view app finished from the previous day. And then it will populate as soon as the New York session comes online. If you delete that um, source chart, it will delete here. And actually, while we're on the subject, and before I forget, let's just bring this guy up. And we want to make sure one last thing is ticked, and that is to automatically roll over our futures symbol. So we want to make sure that that's ticked and apply again one last thing. So just to make sure that our charts will automatically roll over. Um, we will be setting this to roll over with volume a little bit later, but we'll just make sure that that tick is ticked on all our charts. In fact, before we continue from here, so I'll just minimize that guy again, come back to this guy, F5, automatically apply. Okay, we'll do that for all of these real quickly. And that will just allow that once we, um, once we set it up, that when the current front month becomes the lower volume chart to the rollover chart, it will automatically, now it will prompt you with a window on your open up, but it will prompt you to roll over all your charts. And that's just to make sure that they all roll over together. So finally, we got our VWAP <laughs> set up. And we can just come along then and we can do exactly that. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to delete this five tick in a while and I'm just going to copy and paste this once all our studies are done from our 10 tick. Um, to create a five tick with all our studies, so we don't have to transfer them all over, all over, all over as we wish. Not only that, then I will just transfer over, over whichever ones I find important that I want to see from the footprint chart later. So we'll do that a little bit later. So we have our, finally, we have our VWAP covered, so I'll just tick that off. 